global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Many Nigerians are expecting a lot of good news today. Don't forget that um, uh, the PEPT court decides whether uh, to be televised or not. I'm talking about the, uh, le the presidential electoral petition tribunal. They were deciding for Peter Obi and of course for Tuku if they be televising. Now many Nigerians have been hoping that this whole election will go their way. Like Abati, Ruben Abati will say that uh, Nigerians ordered for Peter Obi but I not delivered Bolame to the book. But there's something technical that um, I noticed, and I know most Nigerians out there noticed, that it when it comes to the persons or the people of um, APC supporters, APC apologies, APC, uh, those who love bats, and those who want him to come in by all means, they have a way of always interpreting the constitution. You begin to wonder, is it the English that is confusing? Or the fact that maybe our constitution, electoral commission, uh, constitution needs amendment. Or even the new electoral act, maybe they need to tweak it a little. But every other person who, you know, uses the lines, eyes and lines of neutrality, sees the clauses that every other human being will see. But it looks like, uh, like they will say, it is now left for the judiciary to interpret that section of 134 of the Constitution. But there is a video, thank God for uh, recording purposes, there is a video that most Nigeria brought in that is now trending. Kadaria Ahmed, one of the former journalists, who would give it to you the way it is, she calls a speed a speed. Before uh, the electro election pro proper it was a three horse race literally as if she knew that something like this will happen there's something she said I think Einek should come and hear this Einek chairman should come and hear this maybe Einek is owing us a rerun maybe we shouldn't be putting our last hope finally on tribunal maybe there ought to be first rerun maybe second rerun for us to decide because since it's a three horse race and there is not seem to be a clear cut winner let's hear her and she takes time i don't know if that nature man didn't see this part she takes time to explain this is before the election so it's not like there's something that before the election took place she took time and explained the reason why there might be a rerun or why there should be watch the video together with me let me not Yes. First, you have the highest number of votes. Mm -hmm. Again, not the majority, because sometimes people confuse that. Majority means over 50%. Highest means even if you, you win by it one vote. It have to be 50%. Yes, it can be one vote yes. ahead. So yeah. the highest number of votes, that's the first condition. The second condition is that you must win 25% votes In 24 across states. two thirds of two -thirds Nigeria's of states, 36 yes. states, which is 24 states, mm -hmm. plus, this is an mm -hmm. and. FCT. You must so win FCT. You must win at least 25% in FCT. Okay. So even if you win those 24 states, you have 25%, but mm -hmm. you don't get 25% in FCT, there's a problem. Wow. But that has just been an added, added one. That has just been included. That is your constitution. That is, that is, constitution. <laughs> that is your constitution. That is constitution. And I'll give you the section of the constitution so you can go and check. Um, that's your constitution. That's the constitution. Yeah, actually. that's your constitution. Well, well, Emmanuel, yes. I mean, the, the it is 87 million, right? Yes. That's the yes. 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 So yes. Just for people who are watching, section, yeah, yeah, for those checking who want to go and it's look at it, yes. section 134. Okay. Of the 1999, yeah, no, 1999 constitution, constitution, which talks about second round and third okay. round and all of that. Section so we again. could take 134. 134. So we 34. could technically go to a third round, by the way. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yes. So if your, if your first round doesn't produce a winner, so that has round, you are the winner. You have the most votes and you've gotten more than 50% in. No, first round, you win outright if you, are, you get the most votes and you have your spread. Okay, and then this if, but if nobody gets least, it and you still have popular votes, you don't win it. Does that apply to the second person that comes into 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 follows you? So the second person is decided based on on whether they win majority votes in majority states, and that's over fifty percent. Majority votes in majority states. Okay. Yes, yeah. okay. right. So you, those two go to 
the second round. The conditions are exactly the same required of the second round. You must win majority votes and also have the spread. But this time it's just two parties. Yes, just competing. two parties. If at the end of that, yeah. you still don't have a winner, then you go into a third round where a simple majority will determine the president. L so the requirement for spread yes. is removed when you get to the third round. Looking at the strength of the, let's say, the, the, the top three candidates mm. or parties, do you see the possibility of a, of a runoff? This interview took place, welcome back. This interview took place before the election. People saw the hype. Peter Obi, Peter Obi. People saw the hype. Atiku, Atiku in the north. People saw the hype. APC, uh, Bolatin, because they're a ruling party. They knew there may likely be something that has never happened in the history of Nigerian politics. May likely take place in 2023. Hence, you know, permutations, reactions. And immediately, this was done. And if you if you listen, if I listen to it again, you realize that there are three conditions she gave. The three conditions are right now facing us. But INEC said we should go to court, as an INEC told everybody, if you don't like the result, go to court. And she's saying, look, in the event there's no clear court winner, and if FCT, he said plus, he said if you win everything, you don't win FCT, there's a problem. Oh. And that's the same FCT. Some people are saying, no, it is now a state. It is now a state. FCT does not have a governor. It is now a state. FCT does not have the regular senators that others have. Because it's assumed, based on the little I know, it's assumed that the governor of FCT is the president. It's assumed that the pres president of, uh, of Nigeria. It also doubles as the governor of FCT. That's why you don't get to hear things like the governor of FCT. Because uh, a sitting president cannot be in that state or in that uh, city and the governor is ruling. There could be what we call conflict of interest. The president could be saying this. The governor will say, this is my territory. The president could be saying, I want to pass this route. The governor will say, going forward, this route is going to be exclusively for trade. And the president wants to pass, but that's my territory. You are the president of the country, yes, but I am the governor of this state. I, this is my state. This is my jurisdiction. I am chief security officer. There may likely be conflict of interest. Hence, they made FCT without the governor. So who, the only governor who happens to, who also doubles as the president of the country, is the sitting president. So they are now saying, whoever that will govern us in FCT should meet 25% at least of our vote. To show that, okay, we want you in Asurok. And the, the interpretation is, you know, getting a bit different. This is Kader Ahmed to tell you that this situation is not a case of, it's very neutral, it's sacrosanct. Uh, Chimamanda came. He said maybe it's a problem of English. But if we're going by interpretation of English and it's a, it's a connective word, it means um, additional. You know, in all of your getting, get this plus. Because if uh, FCT does not hold a special seat, they wouldn't have said that whatever state and FCT. They would have just said the 30 whatever state or including FCT or uh, the 36 states of the Federation end the day. Why bring out FCT specially? Because there's something about FCT. FCT does not have a governor. I've never heard the governor of, and I remember. They will tell you state and capital. You hear things like Abia, Umwahe, Adamawa, Yola, Akwaibom, Uyo, Anambra, Oka. When it gets to FCT, what we hear is FCT Abuja. FCT Abuja. There's nothing like uh, um, Abuja, uh, 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 Gwangwarasa, or something, or Lumbe, or, uh, or whatever. You don't get to hear things like that. That means there's something, unfortunately, is the constitution that made FCT special. Why are we now trying to make FCT normal simply because it wants to suit us? It's up to the judiciary, really, to get this done properly. That's what we wrap it up. This is already coming from another, another person entirely. Who sees it the way it is? Can we stop tweeting this English just to suit us? But let us meet to that conversation. Also take. Have a nice time. God bless you.